What is going on YouTube? It's your boy Spanko and as you guys saw in yesterday's video, if you guys didn't see it, make sure to go check it out. But in yesterday's video, we did a Sprite Tri Brigade deck profile. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys the one card combos that I kept mentioning in that deck profile because this deck is all just one card combos. It's kind of insane. Once you have access to one of the engines, it's going to get you access to the other part of the engine and that's why this deck synergizes so well. But if you guys haven't already, make sure to like the video and subscribe to the channel for more Yu-Gi-Oh content just like this one. We upload five days a week here on Spanko deck profiles combo videos duels all that good stuff it's here on the channel so make sure you guys stay tuned and are subscribed for that but also this deck i think is the deck that i'm going to be taking into this format i think it's very under the radar and i think you guys should definitely try it out for yourselves once you guys see the combos you'll see where i'm going with this right so i hope you guys do enjoy and with that let's get into some combos so for our first combo here, all you're going to need is a Splite Starter. Now you guys can see we have the Driver in hand, and the reason for that is because once you use the Bear Brum, you need to shuffle a card from your hand back into your deck, but that's fine because you're going to be opening five cards in your hand at all times. I just want to be showing you guys that why if you open Starter plus like four hand traps potentially, you're still going to have full combo. So here you guys can see we're going to start off with our Splite Starter, and it's a very simplistic combo if you think about it, right? So here we're going to summon our Sprite Blue, and Blue is going to be able to activate here so that we can search our jet all right so we're going to search jet here we're going to be able to special summon it right so we're going to special summon our jet here and jet's going to activate we're not playing smashers so we're going to search another starter but this is actually very important for our follow-up turn so that's why we're searching the extra starter right then here we're going to Ixie summon straight into our gigantic sprite and now we're going to activate our gigantic sprite to summon our tri brigade kit from our deck so now you have access to your kit and now you have access to your tri brigade engine without even touching a tri brigade card you have access to your tri brigade engine what you're going to do now is you're going to actually link them both away into your sprite elf all right so now you're going to be summoning your sprite elf and you're going to be able to activate kit effect to dump a card to the graveyard you're not going to activate your elf just yet you will a little bit later but not just yet so here we're going to dump our nerval we're going to actually activate our nerval and we're going to be able to search a fractal to our hand the reason you guys want to do it this way is because because again we're doing this off of just one card off of just one sprite starter however the reason you have to do it this way is because you don't actually have four tri beasts in your graveyard for revolt to summon omen yet right so that's what you're going to actually want to get to first you're going to activate the fractal and then once you activate the fractal fractal is going to let you get the four tri beasts now keep in mind once you're playing with a full hand if you open like another tri beast in your hand you can search a keras pitch that card to summon the keras right so keep that in mind you still haven't used your normal summon yet at all at this point right so you can even extend for Further, I just want to be showing you guys that you guys can send even something as simple as a DD Crow to your graveyard just because all you need is the fourth Tri Beast name. Then you activate the Sprite Elf to summon the Tri Brigade kit back from the graveyard, and you're going to want to summon it to a zone that Elf points to, specifically because Elf has a really cool effect where your opponent cannot actually target cards that this card points to. So now your kit is going to be safe from Veiler or Imperm, which is very important because those two cards were essentially two of the worst cards against Tri Brigade, right? If you negate the effect, of the tri brigade monster it does become a big issue so here let's just banish two and we're going to summon our bear brum so now we have access to our bear brum no matter what because we have essentially protection for our kit then we're going to use the bear brum as well as our kit to summon our pit knight so now pit knight is going to be on the field and pit knight is insanely powerful here because we're going to get to activate the fact essentially just to negate a card our opponent controls use the bear brum effect to search the revolt and put back the driver put back any card in your hand really so here you're going to end your turn like this you're going to end your turn with this board you have an elf you have an early, you have your splite starter, and you have your revolt, right? So you're going to pass our turn. And when it goes to our opponent's turn, now we have revolt that could potentially summon us an omen because we have one, two, and then you have your DD Crow as well as your kit. So you have four right now for your omen. So you can summon omen off of revolt. That's going to be one disruption. Then you're going to go splite starter, right? So let's just imagine our opponent does anything. You can activate your splite starter to summon your splite carrot from your deck. So now you're going to have a spell or trap negate with sprite carrot. Then on your opponent's turn as well, you can activate your sprite elf to summon back your tri brigade kit from your graveyard and then you're going to actually get to activate your pit knight and your pit knight is actually going to be able to target a monster your opponent controls make it to tag zero and negate its effects right now you have one disruption two disruption and three disruption just with a splite starter not to mention that after you activate your revolt you're gonna get to use your nerve all effect again you're gonna get to use your kit effect again so you're gonna get even more pluses off of just that and this was just one card so here we're opening Rescue Cat. Not Starter, but we're opening Rescue Cat, but it doesn't matter. You guys might be thinking, how are you gonna get into your Sprite engine with just the Rescue Cat? Guys, 
this deck is just so powerful. Let me just show you guys. So here we're going to normal summon our rescue cat. We're going to activate our rescue cat effect. And the really cool thing about this deck, like I said, is you're playing so much protection for these cards. So in theory, these should always resolve. You're not really worried about your opponent having hand traps. And on top of that, a lot of people in today's format are not even on hand traps. They're on a lot of board breakers. And so you're not even worried about that too much as well. But the really cool thing about this deck is that it doesn't lose to board breakers either because you're playing back row, right? You're playing sprite starter. You're playing your revolt. That's going to be able to do other disruption. So even if your opponent is going to go like dark ruler against your pit knight you're like okay sure i'm just gonna do other things so that's why this deck is so powerful but anyways back to the combo we're gonna use our cat to summon our keras and our kit and what does that give us two level two monsters you know what two level two monsters gets us into your gigantic sprite that's literally as soon as you can get into this card this card is so insane it's kind of crazy because as soon as you get into this you have everything you're gonna want so what you're gonna do now is you're gonna use a sprite effect detach your kit to summon a blue from your deck and then you're going to be able to activate your blue effect you can honestly chain link them how you want it depends on what your hand looks like to see what's more important if you think you need to resolve kit so you can get more names in the graveyard you can do that but if you have like a nerve all in hand with a keras already or something like that you can resolve them essentially how, however you think is more important if you think searching the sprite monster is more important for the combo again it all depends on what your hand looks like right so it doesn't matter which how you chain it here we can go kit as chain link one and then we can go blue as chain link two this way i guess our blue is more susceptible to getting ash but that doesn't matter i guess it, it really all just depends right so here we're gonna go kit now also to send our nerval nerval effect is going to be able to trigger here and we're going to search our fractal just as always we're going to do the same thing here and then we're going to be able to special summon our sprite jet activate our jet effect to search our sprite starter from our hand so here we still haven't used sprite starter yet right so we're going to get to search this which is really nice and then what you're going to do is you're going to actually link to into your ip masquerade so you're going to use your blue and your gigantic it doesn't really matter you can use your jet as well it doesn't really matter because you're just going to end up linking these two off anyways into your sprite elf the important thing here was to use the ip mascarena because you need this in your graveyard right so now at this point you guys can see that you have your keras you have your nerval and your kit in your graveyard as well as your rescue cat so at this point you already have four materials for your revolt so you're not even worried about the fractal you're just using this to get an extra card in your hand for potentially for your next turn right here what you're going to do is you're going to activate your sprite elf summon back kit or keras doesn't really matter which one you summon back right but you're gonna summon it back because you haven't used any of their effects anyways you're gonna put it to an arrow it points to keep that in mind that's very important you don't want to lose something stupid like an imperm so you're gonna put it to the arrow and then you're gonna use the effect of course we're locked into link two monsters here so you're gonna go one and i guess doesn't really matter two essentially to use the kit effect here again we didn't open revolt if you open revolt it's actually really good because you can actually end on your double dragon lords but here we can just go into bear brum and then we're going to use the bear brum as well as the kit to go into your pit knight early so it looks very similar right it looks very very similar however this board is actually even stronger than the last board let me tell you guys why so here first you're going to use the bear brum and you're going to be able to search the revolt you know what's funny with this combo technically you didn't need that extra card to put back and the reason for that is because you get to search the fractal but you in this case we're just going to pretend because we want extra cards in our hand right so we're going to pretend that we have the extra card and then we're going to end our turn again with the revolt set and the starter set and you have a fractal for your next turn but why is this board different than the last board right it looks the same you have a revolt you have a starter you have a pit knight right it looks the exact same but it's actually better and let me tell you guys why the reason this is actually better is because on your opponent's turn you can activate your sprite elf to summon back your ip mascarena what does that mean it means that you're not having to summon back something like a kit that's not going to be doing anything on the board for you you're going to summon back your ip mascarena on your opponent's turn right and again i can't do it now because uh we're not playing against an opponent but you're going to be able to summon your ip back on your opponent's turn and then once you use the pit knight early effect to negate a monster because at this point elf has activated its effect right because at this point elf has activated its effect right so you're going to use the pit knight negate a card on the field and then you can use the ip plus the pit knight to go into an apollo with two negates so you're going to be ending on two negate apollo that can't be destroyed because it's under ip but it's also going to be protected under elf right because you're going to be summoning it here so you're going to go two negate apollo plus you're going to have pit knight so that's three negates so far or three disruptions and then you're going to have starter for your carrot that's four disruptions and then you're going to have revolt five disruption boards off of a single rescue cat plus you have follow-up for next turn plus once you use the revolt you're going to get to activate again like i said you're going to activate your nerval you're going to activate your kit again so now you're even getting more follow-up isn't that kind of crazy and this is all just off of one rescue cat right now imagine your hand here is full with other hand traps like you have a dd crow or you have an ash or something like that right Th then, then your hand is just the deck is unbreakable right because again what is your opponent going to do okay well i have dark ruler no more okay sure then you negate these two that's fine i have my starter for carrot that contributes 
give you my elf that's a spell of tribe negate and then i have a revolt that's going to banish a card you control and then potentially i have two or three hand traps right so this is the reason why i think this deck is so good in today's format because no matter what your opponent is playing even against some of the most meta cards and most powerful cards in today's format this deck just has answers to it all so that is it for today's video i hope you guys did enjoy now these combos i showed you were the one card combos of the deck keep in mind if you guys have ever played tri brigade before you can do standard tri brigade combos but i really wanted to show you guys how this sprite and how the tri stuff synergizes well really together so i showed you guys the nice one card combos for that so no matter which combo you guys decide to go it's all very consistent very low cost combos in the sense of you don't need your whole hand to combo you really only need one card in a lot of situations but it can be two card combos as well so i think this deck is very underrated i think it's very powerful you guys should definitely try it out for yourselves make sure to like and subscribe if you guys haven't already we're on the road to 7k let's see if we can make that happen soon so thank you guys all for watching i appreciate every single one of you and with that thank you guys i don't know peace